Shaq for two over Elijah Wong. Diming, interior threat. This is the build I'll be using for my center main that y'all see my record random series that I'll be starting pretty soon on the channel with most updates to fix the gameplay I've been dropping. I finally decided to make my center build. I have a guard build that y'all see later on in the year, but right now I'm running up his main center build with Shades of Shaq on the, uh, Shaquille O'Neal on the Heat. Mitchell Robinson and Clay Capella, my diamond interior there. Before we get into the stats, smack the like button, subscribe. We're on our way to 1,170 subscribers. We're gonna be at 1,200, 1,200 by the end of next, end of this week. We can get that by the end of this week. I'm gonna be at 1,200. Smack the like button, like, go up seven likes when the video is getting to it. Position center, height seven foot, weight 246, wingspan 710. The talk that such a high wingspan with a weight with a height being seven foot. I like a lot for you. Let's get into it. 77 close shot. I could drop it down, but I put it at 77 because they gave me silver finisher, uh, masher on silver, and post fade on silver. It doesn't really matter, but the masher and the fizz finisher is where I really wanted to have. Driving layup on 70, I could drop it down, but I had a 70 because it's a nice stealth spot. Originally, I had to build with 87 driving dunk, which gave me contact dunks on both aspects, but as a center, I only the 80 to get most of the dunks that I needed. Because originally I had the close shot down to 70 and had to drive it like 87, but I switched that up and now I have 90 standard dunk, which is gonna give me all, all my contact dunks I need as a big man. So I didn't need any post riser. I'll be in the paint more than that. You drive him to the rack of people. So it worked out perfectly in my eyes. So it gives me go rise up, go precision dunker, and go aerial wizard along with silver, silver fast twitch. 81 post control. Before I had it lower, but with having it on 81, I got gold post technician and gold dream shaker. That was pretty important to myself. I can shoot free throws with this build. I'm okay with that. I didn't really care to shoot free throws. I'm really trying to be in the paint. Be really paint dominant defensively and offensively in this takeover. So that's really why I made this build. Again, this build is for me. If you guys like it, y'all can definitely try it out. Tweak it to your own liking. But I'm kind of explaining why I got why I'm using the build and why I made the stats the way they are. 90 pass accuracy, which is gonna give me gold touch pass or gold relay passer, Hall of Fame post playmaker, gold dimer, and gold break starter. Getting out of it, uh getting a rebound, throwing it out quick can save you your, your offense a lot so that's why i made the uh, pass actually so high 55 ball handle just so i can get unpluckable at least on bronze 37 speed with ball i'm not jumping down the court i don't need speed with ball that's just my opinion 82 and so your defense was going to give me gold anchor gold workhorse if i drop that down it see with the dropping of it to 81 i lost post move on silver and workhorse on gold so that's why i did it there Perimeter defense, I don't really care for. Still, I don't care for. 92 block, I drop it down and I lose gold anchor. That's why I kept that where it is. Offensive rebound, I drop it down and I lose rebound chaser on gold. And I want to keep that on gold because you got to be in that paint. If I'm a center, I'm 7 foot, 7 10, I need to be able to rebound offensively and defensively. That's my office, offensive rebounds higher than my defensive rebound. 77 defensive, 60 speed, so I can get at least silver chase down block. I thought silver was nice. I drop it down, I lose that. So that's where I, that's why that's why that is where that is. 55 acceleration, 90 strength, which is gonna give me silver bulldozer, gold back down punisher, gold immovable force, silver post move lockdown, gold box all beast, 80 vertical, so I can still can catch alleys and get the max capability with 90, 90 standard dunk and 80 vertical. I get all of the big man maxed out dunk animations. So that was my biggest goal with the build and 95 stamina. So again, this is the build y'all will be seeing me run with mainly on park, wreck, and just in general besides my guard build so hope y'all enjoy it hope y'all check it out and if i do check it out and tweak some things let me know if you saw some things i could probably could have fixed myself with the build let me know and then before i actually get to adding pc to the build i can try to make those changes to something that i like but thank y'all for watching it's kale spivey i'm out y'all peace mm -hmm.